Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is episode two of my seven outfits for your week series. I am so excited for this series. If you guys missed the first video, I'll put it down below in the description box. But basically, the seven outfits for your week series is gonna focus mainly on workwear outfits. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you five different work outfits that you can wear into the office. Or if you even work from home or work from coffee shops, these are outfits that will make you feel really put together and very professional. I'll also be showing you two other outfits outfits for Saturday and Sunday and then one bonus outfit for either athleisure or for like a date night look so if you guys are interested in any of these outfits I'll have everything linked down below in the description box and also in a blog post where you can find everything there and shop visually I also will try to include sizes in the blog post so if you're interested in going off of my sizing for reference I'll have that linked there you can find the blog post pinned in the comments and also in the description box I am five foot two just for reference, but we're gonna go ahead and get started with outfit number one for Monday. I would say that my style really leans towards workwear in general. I love a tailored pant trousers. So you'll see a lot of those in really all of my styling videos, but for the seven outfits for your week, I really want to show you guys different ways to style up different types of nicer pants. So whether you are going to the office or you're going to a lunch meeting or an event for work, I really wanted to cater to those scenario so for this first look I've got on these really incredible super high-waisted tailored pants from a brand called petite studio and these are so incredible I absolutely love the color it's like the perfect khaki color they have a really beautiful single large button in the front and like I said they're so high-waisted they go basically up to my ribs and they're really really nice around the waist and the booty they're not tight anywhere and the thighs which is really really nice so they're super comfy to sit down in all day got them on with this really fun kind of abstract sweater which is also from petite studio and if you're not familiar with that brand they are a very like polished brand so a lot of the stuff on their site is going to be very workwear attire but i really love this sweater i love the design of it i have it over just a bra and it's not itchy or anything like that and then i've got it tucked into the tailored pants for my bag i've got on this larger shoulder bag bucket bag from Madewell and I love mixing different shades of brown and beige and then for my shoes I've got on a white western booty from Madewell and I love a white boot for the fall and winter so I'm definitely gonna get a lot of wear out of these but this is my outfit for Monday or my next look I've got on this really incredible sweater from Revolve I love the pattern of this it's also so comfy I love the fact that the bottom is actually fitted so all you have to do is just tuck it under you don't even need to like tuck it up into your bra and it just gives that perfect kind of top of the waist cropped look I really love the fact too that it's black I'm like 99% sure it's black at this point I've checked it against like black bags and accessories and I'm like it has to be black if this is navy it's the darkest navy I've ever seen but I'm pretty sure it's black I really love the fit and shape of this sweater it's kind of like an oversized slouchy look so if you wanted it to be more fitted you could size down but I really like the way that this one fits on me the sleeves are like a little bit more slouchy and comfy I feel like this sweater would look so good with a pair of your favorite denim blue or black denim it would look so good jeans but i've got it on with the everlane dream pant which i've talked about these pants for i don't know maybe like three or four years now and these pants are so good if you like the look of a tailored almost straight pant i think they're a little bit more narrow than a true straight tailored pant but they are seriously like the fabric of a sweatpant they have an elastic waistband they feel like a pair of sweats or joggers but they look like a really nice trouser so if you're looking for a really comfortable office pant these are it like I love wearing these I've worn them like all day at conferences and they're just they're like the best pants ever. <laughs> for my shoes, I've got on these woven mules from Ni Solo. I love a mule for this time of year. It's like the perfect transition shoe from summer to fall where you want to feel 
like you're embracing fall but if it's really warm where you are kind of like it is here in nashville a mules are really good stepping stone into wearing boots but i've got on this top handle bag from madewell to tie in with the black in the sweater and i just i love this look i love the fact too that this sweater feels so great for wearing it like on the weekend with jeans so you can get a lot of wear out of this specific print and pattern but this is my outfit for Tuesday. For this next outfit, I've got on an all black base, which is so chic by itself. If you're not in a place yet where you're wearing blazers, it's too hot for that. I feel like this outfit just like by itself is so good. So I've got on this incredible fitted cotton tank from Everlane. And I love the fact that's not like a super strappy tank. They're wider straps and it's long enough to tuck into any of your high-waisted bottom so for my pants i've got on the abercrombie sloan pant and if you guys have watched any of my styling videos from like the last year you know i like love these pants but they are so so great to wear with sneakers or to really dress up like i have here i've got on this madewell belt i finally got a black belt and i love this one it's so minimalist and just very like clean cut it's not too big not too flashy it's just very understated so i've got it on to kind of break up the black on black i feel like just having some kind of buckle or something here just kind of shows your waist a little bit for my shoes i've got on the madewell darcy boots in black and i love these because they have a pointed toe they look really good with wide leg pants and then for my jacket i've got on this new blazer from everlane this is so cute i'm obsessed with the color the print of it it's a really beautiful neutral houndstooth design and it's really stunning over something super simple like this outfit would also look really good over a cream or white button down or tank or a turtleneck i just feel like you could have a lot of fun with this jacket but i love the way it looks over all black and then for my bag i've got on this little madewell bucket bag which has just like stolen my heart i'm obsessed with this bag i've talked about this so many times now since i got this bag but i love the very sleek minimal design of it with the simple gold buckle in the front I feel like that plays off really nicely with my gold jewelry and then also the buckle on the belt. So next outfit for Thursday, I've got on this incredible trench coat. This is from Everlane and I actually checked the site and it's still on sale. I ended up grabbing it during their summer sale and I got it for like a crazy good price, but I looked online and they still have it on sale. So if you're looking for a trench coat for the fall and winter, I really love this one. This one is like a really beautiful gray stone color. So it works with a lot of different neutrals. I've got it on over this incredible cream knit from Everlane. I love Everlane's knits so much. I feel like their pieces really thrive in fall and winter as well. So it's actually this really high neck turtleneck that I just folded under like so to give it almost like a mock neck. I feel like it's a little bit more chill this way, but it can be a full turtleneck style. And then I've got on the Everlane Dream Pant again in black. I'm telling you guys, these are like the best pants if you're looking for a really nice fitted pair of tailored pants. They also come in different lengths as well. I have the shortest length and I feel like the black pair is so, so sleek. For my shoes, I've got on a pair of suede mules that they just released at Madewell. I'm obsessed with these. The colors is so good. They are like this really beautiful muted like dark mustard yellow and I feel like they are the perfect fall transitional shoe. For my bag, I've got on the Lululemon quilted tote bag in the five liter version, which sold out so fast. I would highly recommend going ahead and signing up for the restock because I just feel like this is going to be one of the best bags for fall and winter. I love any type of quilted puff style. And if you guys are not familiar with the Lululemon Wonder Puff fabric or material, it's so good, it's so soft. And Lululemon just makes some really, really great bags. So this is my next outfit. And I love the layered look with the trench coat. For my Friday outfit, I've got on a pair of jeans. I'm going for casual Fridays at the office with obviously still 
still looking cute and professional. So I've got on these jeans from Madewell. These are the perfect vintage wide leg jean, I believe. They switch up their styles a lot, so I'll try to link something similar if these are not available. But for my top, I've got on the most precious scalloped collared sweater. This is so cute. It's this really beautiful kind of light pink and then the sleeves have scallops around the edges. The bottom of the sweater has scallops and then it has this really high neck collar on it. It's just it's so precious. I love this. It's also a cropped fit, so I would definitely wear it with high-waisted bottoms, but I love the way that it fits. I also just have it on over my bra. It's not itchy at all, and I feel like this is a very polished looking sweater. For my shoes, I've got on my favorite leather sneakers. These are the Everlane Court sneakers. If you guys have been on my channel for like the last two or three years, I think I have styled these shoes in every single styling video at this point, but they're so comfortable for all day wear. And then for my bag, I've got on this carabiner bag from Madewell. It also has a longer seatbelt strap, but I just took the strap off and I've got the shoulder strap on. So this is my Friday outfit. So for my Saturday look, I've got on so many good Everlane pieces right now. They are, they're killing it. I'm like obsessed with what they're doing right now. So first up, I've got this incredible chocolate brown high neck cotton long sleeve tee on. It's long enough to tuck into your high-waisted bottoms and this shade of brown is just perfect. Over it, I've got this really great button-up. It's almost like a chore jacket, but it's a lot thinner than an actual jacket. So this would be the perfect kind of transitional top to wear over a long sleeve or over a tank. And what's great about this too is that you could wear it buttoned up and wear it as a top without anything on underneath it. It would look great over a turtleneck as well, but I love whatever this fabric is. So this top is the same fabric as these bottoms and I don't know what this is. I've literally never felt anything like this fabric. It is the softest, most buttery, super worn in feeling cotton or whatever it is. It is so good and it is so comfortable. These pants guys, feel like a actual dream. I am so obsessed with these. I ended up rolling the bottoms of them because they are a little bit long, but they work with boots if you just roll the bottoms. And because the fabric is super, super soft, the cuff is really easy. You don't have to like fold over a ton of fabric. So they are just really slouchy and perfect. And I just, I love them so much. I would recommend sizing down in these though, cause they do run pretty baggy, but I really want to grab these in like more colors because I'm obsessed with these pants. I also want to get this top in multiple colors cause the top is so, so soft and like smoothing and just perfect. I love the neckline on it. Like I said, Everlane stuff is so good right now. And then I've got on these faux croc boots from Dolce Vita in chocolate brown, of course, and my chocolate brown Chanel bag. And you guys know I have to include a chocolate brown outfit in this video. This next look is what I'm calling my bonus outfit. And I feel like this would be the perfect fall cozy date night outfit or fall cozy just like going out with girlfriends outfit. I love like dressing up a silky skirt with your favorite sweater. So I've got this skirt on from Abercrombie. It's this really beautiful wine red and I've got this really oversized slouchy sweater from Revolve that I've just tucked into the skirt. So I actually folded the skirt over a couple times to make it a little bit shorter so you could see my tall boots underneath. I've seen so many people wear like taller boots underneath skirts and dresses. So I decided to try that out for myself. These boots are from Alohas and I've worn these for a couple years now. I love them. They're really, really versatile. And then underneath the sweater, because it is a little bit of a like chunkier knit so you can kind of see through it, I've got on one of my favorite turtlenecks from Everlane. It's really great for layering. And then I have on this Madewell crossbody bag. But this is such a cozy outfit, but it's still dressed up a little bit so you could wear it like out in the evening or even really during the daytime. I love just the fact that you can kind of make a skirt like this a little bit more cozy during the fall. For my last outfit, 
for Sunday, I've got on this incredible dress from Everlane. This is actually the same fabric as those pants and that cream color button up top that I showed you guys. This fabric feels like butter on the skin. It is so soft. It honestly like kind of reminds me of the Lululemon Soft Stream fabric. If you're familiar with how that feels, it's like a very similar kind of feel to it, but it's so gorgeous. I love this color. It's like the perfect color of of wheat almost. It just looks like a wheat field and I love it. It just feels very, very fall. What's great about this dress too is that it's not fully long sleeve. So this is a really great dress for the transitional months. And then also you could throw on a drapey cardigan over it. And I just feel like you could wear this into the fall with your favorite booties. I've got it on though with some fisherman sandals from Madewell. These are some of my favorite little mules right now because they are open toed, which I've talked about before, but they're perfect for transitional months where you're like not wanting your feet to sweat, but you want to wear a mule for the fall. They're a really great pair of shoes. I love the color of them. And then I've got on the same large bucket bag that I had on earlier in the video. And I just love this dress. It's so easy to style because it's just kind of effortless. I feel like if you never know what to wear, a dress is kind of a camp lose because you don't have to match anything together other than your accessories but you can always just match the accessories so those are all of my outfits i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this series be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below let me know what your favorite outfit was like i said everything will be linked in the blog post that you can find pinned in the comments if you want to check any of that out i'll be sure to include my sizes on the blog but if you happen to be new here and you want to stick around for some more styling videos or try on hauls be sure to hit the subscribe button i've got so many incredible alpha videos planned for fall and so i hope you stick around but i will see you guys in my next one really really soon bye guys